Hi there. This is my review of the RTX 2070. It's beautiful. Okay, but in all seriousness, I have some footage that I'm gonna run for you guys right now of me unboxing it. Now, mind you, this is when I just got it. I took this footage three, four days ago now, um, and I was a little bit incoherent at the time, seeing as I had adrenaline and cocaine pumping through my veins. So just keep that in mind while you're watching this clip. Hope you enjoy. To skip to benchmarks, go to 613 in the video. Okay, so this is going to be a bit different. Today we are doing an unboxing from Anyway, you know, for that good computer shit that I like and enjoy so much. So, to, I, I purchased a, a 2070 from EVGA, and I, I got a power supply as well, it's 650 watt. That's not what we're talking about though. I don't really care about that as much, because I care more about the 2070, because it's like, you know, 2070. So. Like, do you not know how to use scissors? Are you that fucking stupid? Oh. So there's the power spot. As it turns out, they gave me like a 1050. I didn't think I'd shit myself. Wow, so there's the power supply. 650 watt gold rated. I got this. Since I bundled it with my card, $29.99 instead of, I think it was like $109.99, which was the original price or something like that. So that's pretty cool. And now, oh, oh. Holy shit. Ah, the RTX GeForce 2070 XC Ultra. So, this is, if you don't know, a beefy card. Uh, it's, it's fucking thick, okay? So let's go ahead. I don't know how to do this, I'm stressed. I'm the kind of person who likes to keep the box intact, so. Wow. Holy fuck. That is a THICK FUCKING CARD! It's a three slot card. Oh. My. God. Look at that. So here it is. Holy shit. Look at this thing. It's fucking huge. Wow. Wow. Okay, look at how absolutely thick that is. Thicker than fucking May right here. That is a huge heat sink. Look at that, oh my god. It's RGB too, right? Yep, RGB, and it's... FT, was it the FTW? No, this is the XC Ultra. Oh, that's right, the FTW. FTW has three fans. Wow. Now, on to our second piece. This is a 650 watt power supply from EVGA. Again, I got this. I purchased the uh, XC Ultra for... 569 I believe and I got this as a bundle deal instead of 109 for 29.99 um, So it was super good deal uh, This is a gold rated power supply And has a, 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 a Five year warranty I believe Look at that that little thing. It's cold. Also cold. They're all cold. <laughs> but that's okay. Holy shit.
So it is one week later, and here I am, yet again. I have to say, this graphics card has performed so goddamn well, it has overperformed, in my opinion. Maybe this is just because I'm coming from a 1060, but I will say, it has done so well in all the games that I've played so far. It also looks fucking beautiful, I will say that. Um, obviously, as you can tell from here, it's a three-slot card, meaning that you're going to need a pretty big case. Uh, it's about, I don't know, I think 10 inches long, but it is a very big card, so keep that in mind when purchasing. But I would definitely recommend this to anybody. So now we're going to move we'll into some time. benchmarks. I'd just like to take a minute to apologize for not actually having any footage of RTX gameplay. I didn't have the money for Battlefield 5 at the time, and I'm hoping to do that in a separate video. Sorry for the inconvenience. Listen, man. We're winning this. As you can tell, here we are on Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 was released on October 12th of 2018, so approximately a month and a half ago. This, right now, is a very intensive game that has a lot of beautiful See, graphics and at its highest settings can take a beast of a car right. to run it. Uh, so as we see here, it's running at an average of about 100 to 90 to 100 frames per second. In menus, it will drop to 60 frames per second, and when Alt-Tab, it drops to 15, but the 15 is not because of the card bottlenecking, but instead because of the optimization path they've chosen through using less resources when the game is not being utilized. As you can see here, we're playing the game at 2K for our resolution, with all of the settings maxed out. Very high, 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 high. This is the highest settings that this game can go to with our current monitor, seeing as we do not have a 4K monitor. And with all these settings, we are still getting 90 to 100 frames. This is, in my opinion, very good, and I've been very happy with these settings so far. Greetings. The next game on this list is Overwatch. As you know, on my channel I have played a lot of Overwatch, have multiple videos on it, and enjoy the game thoroughly. Don't play it as much anymore, but I will get back to it. I will say that for this game and the settings I was able to achieve with the frame rate, I was a little bit disappointed with the performance of the 2070. On high settings, I was able to achieve 144 frames per second on average without the frame rate dropping at all. No stutters, no lag. But once I increased the settings to epic, I was met with 70 to 100 frames per second. Something that I was hoping I could do a lot better with. Now, yes, Overwatch is an intensive game, but not as intensive as something like Black Ops 4, I would have thought. So why I was getting the same frame rate in Black Ops 4 at max settings as I was in Overwatch at max settings was interesting. I didn't expect that. Maybe I underestimated how intensive this game is, but I will say I was a little bit disappointed. In conclusion, in almost all scenarios, the 2070 has outperformed my expectations. It's able to stay cool, quiet, under strenuous gaming, and able to handle some crazily detailed games. The only shortcoming that I have found with this graphics card is its lack of ability to run Overwatch at epic settings um, at 144 frames per second. I found this very strange but now that I think about it, it's possible that this could have been an accident or an error on my part. I will say, another problem I had was when trying to install the drivers for this card, 
I spent five hours trying to figure this out and it ended up having to reinstall my operating system in order to get it to work. Maybe, possibly, this was my fault. But, you know, just a warning that sometimes the drivers can be an absolute bitch to deal with. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video and comment down below saying if you'd like to see more of this tech review sort of style of content because I had a lot of fun making this video. Um, it was a bit of a pain in the ass to edit. I spent like seven hours today editing. It's fine, not a big deal. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.